right, today's adventure I actually started with going out and scuba diving. It's the lake that we commonly fish. They don't allow motorized boats. It's a great lake, full of bass, pike, and muskie, which you'll see later. So just throwing the fins on. Water's pretty nice. Almost too hot with this wetsuit. Dropping in. All right, so right off the bat, it's like 15 feet of water here. Just coming down the drop off, nice and sandy, bumped into a school of bass. Pretty cool, a lot of bass out here. Big, large amount of bass. Keep going a little further. Again, really soon here, I just started the dive and I bumped into a fishing lure. Pretty cool. Had to adjust my buoyancy there to get down to it. Yeah, pretty normal. And also, right off the bat, look at the light change, that's kind of cool. Different clarity. Oh! Goggles, face mask, swim mask, and look at, uh, look at this thing. It's full of zebra mussels. So they have zebra mussels in this lake. They're an invasive species that not, you know, it's not healthy for the lake. They clear out the water. They make it clean, but it's not good for the habitat, for the fish. One of the cool things about scuba diving, when you're down there, you always bump into these random weird things. Like in this case, I found a concrete, some kind of a post with concrete around it. Always something to look at. It's cool. Yeah, and the only thing that was unusual about this dive as well was I did bump into this upcoming artifact, which is kind of cool. Ah! What's that? An elongated paddle. You never know what you're going to find down deep. I actually had to start a little shoreline stash there because I was getting too many treasures. Since my wetsuit's like five millimeters, I was just roasting today, so I was grateful to get that off. And I actually wanted to try some free diving as well, so I pulled out those fins and had some fun with the free diving flippers. These things are amazing. They're carbon. And they really fly through oh. the water. I'm really impressed. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's going to catch me. <laughs> I go pat him or is he gonna freak out? Oh, no, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> You're okay, buddy. Hey buddy, how you doing? How you doing? Good dog, good dog, good dog. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Super curious. <laughs> so where do we go? What do we do here? Shoot the skeet. Have you ever seen skeet? No, no. That's a game of honey. Right here we go. So before Tim and I went musky fishing this evening, oh. we actually went out and did a little skeet shooting. I've never oh. gone skeet shooting or trap shooting, but I've done a lot of hunting, oh. so I have some experience. Shooting. Here, put this on. So my dad's in the green here, my brother Tim's in the yellow, and Dr. Giambi was with us. He's in, he used to be on the Italian Olympic oh. shooting team. Good shot. <clears throat> Okay, pull. So I got to shoot some interesting Berettas and Benelli's, but ultimately I like this semi-automatic Remington because it's very similar to my Benelli shotgun. Okay, pull. We had a lot of fun. Okay, pull. Pull. These people, good job. These people, really nice shooting. We only have one left, so. Oh, I hunt well, all the time. The yeah, well. All right. This is different. A waiter is like. Little tip for the helicopter pilots out there: probably don't fly over a skeet range. <laughs> hmm. 
Morris has a contraption like this or no? They have just these. So if you look at these guys shooting. Yeah. They're shooting trap. Yeah. So the thing is, you stand next to the thing that Pult shoots or what? You stand behind all these. So there's one, one person at each station. So there's a thing behind that brick there's wall? There's a thing inside of there. Oh, inside? Them out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. And it has like a 30 degree arc. As we're here, we should do that too. That would be fine with me. That's a, that's, that's a blast. Yeah. These are microphones. So they're uh -huh. the ones pick you up, pull. So when you yell pull, it goes into the microphone. Yeah. So if you stand Automated. and like talk at them, they'll sit there and sling off. Oh wow. So it's automated? Yep. Yeah, it's yeah. all automated. Oh wow, funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just... So you shoot five from one station, then you move to the next. Okay. Start to you. Here? Yeah. And I'll start, so then I'll move you as well. Okay. You'll notice Dr. Giambi likes to start with his oh. gun up and ready to roll. I actually like to start with the gun down a little bit and then put it up and the clay pigeon comes out. It's more natural for me because that's oh. how I hunt. Oh. So oh. Unfortunately, this doesn't show up very well on the GoPro. It was a learning experience, but I'm apparently oh. a really good shot. I shot. 23 out of 25 so I got a, 20, a score of 23 and one of the shots was this oh. oh safety the safety on I'm in the habit of putting it on because I hunt so much <laughs> punching it punching that trigger yeah exactly all right what is this Oh, this is the only box of shell that I brought, that I brought for trap. This is a federal one ounce. Hmm. More weight, you just put more BBs or less BBs? That's how you yeah, make it a one I mean, ounce versus yeah, a one, one and a... One ounce is uh, well, ounce, and eight. ounce and eight is the max you can use for trap. Most okay. Heat. And is it is it filled to the top? Well, it depends on is the like, wad. Is no, it... the wad is from here. Oh, I see, I see. So you just move the wad up to make... Okay. So, yeah, it feels real light, huh? I have some there. Uh, yeah, one ounce. Okay. Remember the time I was over at your house? Yes. We were hanging around your basement? Yes. And we walked out the door and you said, hey, there's some goose, and geese. And you ran into your gun room and you come out with a shotgun and you're loading it as you're running out. And you dropped it, but he fell at our feet. Yeah. You remember uh, that? It was just a huge one. I didn't want to pick it off. 15 pounds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here are these fins I got to them, these suckers. I tried them out today. They're carbon. So they have like a lot of snap to them. Yeah. You go down and it's just like, yeah, yeah it's amazing. So yeah, and after we did our shooting, Tim and I actually went over to DJ's in Alexandria. It's a phenomenal place owned by a friend of mine. I really recommend you go there if you're in Alexandria. Try their gluten-free pizza with the cauliflower crust. It's amazing. And they even have an ax throwing there. They have an ax throwing club, which is unusual and cool. Anyway, then we went back to the lake that I was at scuba diving to go basically night fishing. We'll see how well this works in the day. I've never done this in the day with two people. It's not the, it's not the easiest thing. You can try the regular seat too if you want. But... All right, so get the regular paddle out. Okay. <laughs> Can imagine this is gonna be tricky, tricky business. Back, back, back. Other side, yeah. yeah. On this night, the moon rise wasn't until about 1 a.m., and that's when the muskies come up into the shallow water. But we got there early anyway, just to try and catch some other fish, and ultimately we wanted to shine around the lake and look at fish and see what different species we could see. It's just because it's so small. <laughs> Like I say, they're always right up on, right up in these reeds. This, one, this one's got a little more weight. Bigger. Yeah, definitely. Make sure it's good and set. Yeah. Oh, this one's solid. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pound and a halfer. Beauty. <laughs> Look at that. That's a awesome. Chunker. I love it. Oh, he's got a. Oh, shoot. You got a swing and a miss? Yeah. Heck yeah. Did you get any meat on him? No, or? no meat on 
Yeah, I'll yeah. catch them. Bass yeah, come in schools. Yeah. Oh, they get weeds. Yeah. Get them. Oh man, did you see the water yeah. rip? Yeah. Holy. I don't know what that was. I don't think it wasn't huge, but it, it like the lure went. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so fast. Had to be a pike. That's probably a pike. Yeah. Had to be. A big turn and go. Yeah. There's one. Right. Oh yeah, it's getting down the weeds. Just a bass, I see him. Decent, yeah. decent, but average size out here. Yeah. Good deal. Kept that one on. Nothing wrong with that. No, that's for sure. What happened to all the pike out here? There's one. <laughs> Probably another bass. He's heading for the surface. Yeah. Oh no, it's a piker. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Just said I was saying what happened to these little guys. That one. Good. Yeah. Greedy. So greedy. Look at how skinny they are. I know. <laughs> little musky baits. <laughs> old yeller. Yeah. Gotta love old yeller. Ah, we did. At crap. night? No, I've never done maybe, night. Maybe bad. Oh, I missed another one. Kinda... I could see that one swing, dude, right there. Really I saw him swing and I felt him. Yeah. Take it. Just a small bass. Yeah, Johnny and I are the ones that have gotten super successful yeah, with it. Like every time we go, we've caught them. Yep. Two in one night. One was a giant 46. There we go. <laughs> he came all the way to the top, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and they're large. Small, large. <laughs> Not bad, they're all exactly the same size. Yeah, exactly. Here's the same one just following us around. Yeah. What, you took punishment? Yeah, that was the second one in that little area. There's one. Jim, there's the one double. Nice, Ooh, dude. Man, I got a little bigger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bass? Yep. All right, doubling down. <laughs> How many people can go musky fishing and catch a double on bass? <laughs> Look at that. Yours yeah. is definitely bigger. Nice. All right. Holmes. Let's <laughs> stack those bad boys. If we can get my lure out. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Mine swam at the boat, so I, I almost I felt like he got off for a yeah, second. Mine, I just kept cranking. Mine took a turn for the weed. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's your first one yeah, too. That's it. And that big hoss lure. Yeah. There's one. It's another bass or something. Just annihilated it. Mm -hmm. It's either bigger or he's just yeah. a lot more aggressive. Yeah. Plus, I had a lot of line out. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Definitely bigger. Yeah. Whoa, baby. This that's one's a awesome. sausage, yeah, huh? That's cool. Look at that horse. Whoa. Biggest one yet. Yeah, Whoa. Sure. He is a heavy tuna. Yeah. Dude, look at the stomach no, on that no. thing. There's one. Are you serious? Another double? Gosh. Oh, he popped off. off. Shoot. <laughs> awesome, man. When it rains, eh? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, when you flip your light, you can see down there pretty good, too. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, so I can see crystal. Yeah, it's going to be class. There we go. Nice, dude. Huh? <laughs> You got a big crappie? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he's got some muscle. Man, you get the big ones with that bigger lure. That's as big as my oh, last yeah. one. Look at that horse. Swing him in. Don't pop him. Heck yeah. Dude, oh, yeah. that's another <laughs> nice one. Big. big dogs are coming out to play now. Here, swing him here and I'll at least control him. There you go. Lip lock him. Oh man. Dude, nice bass, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, that might be pushing. That's easily three and a half. Oh, might even yeah. be pushing a four in there. Goodness sakes, probably the biggest bass you ever caught. Yeah, I'm sure. That's a hog. Dude, let, me, let me show the GoPro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Heck of a view. Oh my goodness. <laughs> show the audience. <laughs> when you get him on an eight inch bucktail, yeah, it better be sure. big. Heck yeah. Oh man, he smoked that. Yeah man, just think we... Yeah, the bass are popping now. 
almost doubled down, eh? Yeah, like a dude! Oh my goodness. <laughs> this one's a beast. In school. Beast mode. Yeah. Flip your light and you'll see it's just sandy. Sandy no man. And there's a sun bob, but oh, a lot yeah. of sun bobs. Cool. It's gonna be fun on the yeah, GoPro later to see good. see how you can see. Yeah, there's zero wind. Yeah. It's part of the reason I wanted to come mm -hmm. tonight. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, yeah. Mm. Three fish, two or carp, I think. Mm. Oh, look at that little skinny one. Yeah. Freaking, probably a piker. Two, oh, look at that carp next to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a carp right next to it, too. Yeah. It's like when it rains, of course. See, there's that catfish. Oh. Thing. Another decent fish right there. What the heck is it? Yeah, bass. Big old bass, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah like that little that one went into the weeds. In Ooh, all that. Look at that one. Oh, yeah. Nice. Look at that. That's probably... 17 inch. Yeah. It's oh look at that big old walleye. Or is it a sucker? It's a sucker. Seen a lot of snapping turtles out here too. It's pretty rad. Yeah. Fun to catch a small one and cook them up for the kids. Do nice, nice. <laughs> cook up catch and cook snapping turtle vid. <laughs> yeah. Out of a clean lake. Yeah. Dude, snapping turtle. Oh, yeah. Oh. Speaking of which, eh? Yeah, exactly. Spoke that into existence. That yeah. one's a little large, though. Yeah. Okay. A piker. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, look at that cute little guy. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Bullies or something right there. Nice. Bullhead and then That's a bass nice right bass. next to it. It's interesting. Done a lot of casting. Oh, big old carp. Look at that sucker. Oh, yeah. Legit grasp. Yeah. He's a little dude. That'd have been fun with a bow and arrow. Yeah. Oh, Wally. Oh, big carp. Look at the fat on that oh, thing. Yeah. Holy Cheek. <laughs> what a monster. Oh, I mean, dude, can you imagine That's shooting that tank? Yeah. <laughs> He's oh, so fat. Oh, yeah. oh, man. Another carp. Two carp. Big old tanks oh, yeah. stacked up on it. Whoa, dude. Oh, yeah. That is a boat. Not as much cabbage as I remember. There's a carp again. Man, these things are everywhere. This side of the lake is chock full of those horses. No, it's a sucker. Yep. Is it pikeroo? The kind that it sh shouldn't attack your bucktail, but do yeah. every time. <laughs> Greedy little piker. Little bastard. Oh, it's a crop. A little crappie. It's down in the weeds. Yeah. Um, yeah, in the morning, the bass are back in there just pounding schools sure, and minnows yeah. and sunnies and whatnot, just blasting away. Look at these bass. Oh, yeah. Huh. Hiding in the, the sand. Hole. Yeah. Walleye, dude. Big one. Yeah. Just, oh, look at that. Another walleye. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not quite as big as the last one, but still yeah. definitely an eater. Yeah. Got him. Nice, dude. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> Tim, yeah, man. <laughs> take it easy it on him now. now. Now paddle. Now you're going to have to take out the foot. Wow, dude. <laughs> so take, take out the foot pedals. Okay. Because you're going to have to paddle into shore. You need to hold them for a sec while you do that. How's your drag? Uh, it's pretty tight. Listen her up a little bit. Okay, just give him a second. Oh, yeah, damn, yeah, nice, buddy. man. Heck yeah, he's pulling the kayak. <laughs> <Ready>. <laughs> that happened fast. So, 38? Um, so I got him for a sec. Grab the, yeah, grab the pedals out and then grab the regular paddle. Yeah, man. <laughs> He's swinging us all over. <laughs> Heck yeah. I gotta crank down on it. Right. Good job, dude. Okay, and then get the regular paddle out, and I can paddle, and I'll give you the rod back so we don't lose him. Go quick with the paddle. Okay, now, yep, take it and keep it tight. Other hand, crank down on him a little bit. Now the drag's a little loose. Okay, I'm gonna back us towards the shore. Finally! 
Um, I'm gonna put your pole up. I got it. Come on. Get some some photographs here, bud. Yep. Get that off his gill, eh? There you go. There you go, bud. Almost to shore. All right. Nice job. Oh, shoot. He popped? Oh. Oh well. Yeah. We got him on video. Yeah, I touched him. So. Yeah. Nice, man. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Happened so fast. Here you go. That's awesome.